this video, I'm going to show you how to create high quality block diagrams using Microsoft PowerPoint and include it to your document. In scientific document preparation, high quality figures like block diagrams are integral parts to make your document complete and visually attractive. Here, I will show you how to create them. First, as always, open your Microsoft PowerPoint then create a new blank slide. To draw block diagrams, you can insert images of your interest to this slide like you are inserting it in your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. And also, you can use the available shapes and icons from Microsoft PowerPoint shapes and stock images. For example, to draw a block diagram of this kind, insert a round edge rectangle to the canvas like this and another rectangle resize its shape and align horizontally or vertically. You can also create your shapes from scratch. For example, change the fill color to no fill, increase the line which is like this, bring the connector and connect this point with draw a line from this point to this point and from this point to this point. Group all the figures. To do so, go to shape format and click group. Now you can move it to anywhere you want like this. Now let's connect those shapes together by using connector. Go to insert, then shapes, then select this one, connector. Draw it from this to this and from this to this. Draw a line like this. You can also insert icons by clicking this icon tab which brings you to the stock of icons and search the icon of your interest. For example, I want a personal computer. Just write PC here in the search space. So select this one and click insert. As you can see, it inserts the icon to our workspace. You can change its color. For example, I want it to be this color. Don't forget to save your file. Complete the block diagram by connecting it like this. You can change the line weight by selecting all and going to sharp outline and select the weight you want from the list is available here. For example, I want the line weight to be three points like this so it will have a good visual look. Next, give the legend for each line by going to insert and then clicking text box and here you can write the text you want or you can insert equation by going to insert and then clicking this equation icon. I want my legend for the input to be Y reference, Y R. Increase its font size, copy it here in the output and write Y, simply Y, Y like this. And this is the error E and this is the control now U. Similarly, you can write a normal text plant, for example. You can change its font. You can make it very attractive, very stylish by adding your visual skills. You can write any equation of the form like this, for example. You can insert also the signs, plus or minus signs, like you are inserting the texts like this. Okay, you can add the effects for your shapes like this, for example. Now, when you complete all the legends, all the shapes, you can group your figure parts all together by selecting all and going to shape format and clicking group like this. Now it will be considered as a single plot or a single figure. So you can resize it, you can move it freely. You can also copy from this PowerPoint slide to any PowerPoint slide like this by simply copying and pasting it. Okay, after finishing constructing your block diagram, you can save it as a PNG file by right clicking the figure and clicking save as picture. You can choose any file format from this, the drop down menu. You can save it as PNG, portable network graphics, JPEG, or scalable vector graphics, or SVG file, or enhanced meta file, etc. But for now, I'm going to save it like a PNG file. You can rename it to the name you want, then click save so that it can be saved as a transparent png file okay let's check it this is the transparent png file that you can insert to any of your document like microsoft word or your latex document if you have